Hello everybody. Welcome to Unspoken Truth in Silence, which is the exhibition held here at the Halpen Gallery in the Nucleus Arts Centre in Chatham. Um, I'm Cass Holmes and this exhibition um, has been conceived in partnership with the Nucleus Foundation and one of the central pieces of the exhibition is um, UMO's Identified Meaningful Object, the brainchild of artist Elizabeth Wurtz, in, who's a Dutch artist, in partnership with myself, Cass Holmes. We're hoping that this exhibition will grow over, this contribution to UMO will grow over the next year and we'll be back here in a year's time. Um, so we're lots of small pieces of UMO here. I'll come back to that in a little while, but you can see each one of these objects, which is wrapped um, unidentified things inside, which could be a stone, a pebble, I even know that there's a pair of glasses in one of them, um, are wrapped in their own little secrets. You can visit uh, my webpage, Cass and casshomes.co.uk, and there'll be what we value, what we miss. So you could see more about this project online and how you may participate. Um, so I'm now going to take you around to the other part of the exhibition. The exhibition title is, as I said, Unspoken Truth and Silence. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because there are, there's some information, this lovely little postcard with a QR code that Elizabeth put together that tells you how to make an unidentified meaningful object. And also the, that is also on our web pages and websites. So the first person who's in the exhibition is Gail Mercer. I'm going to keep this bit quite brief so I keep the video in, in good time. So this is Gail Mercer and these are Mum's Shoes. We then come to a whole wall of textiles here by the artist Carol Jones and she talks about um, when you do Chinese whispers and how things change in her pieces. So these are made out of stitch with recycled materials. Um, and they have things like Layers of Truth is the title of this series. So what is truth and what uncovers the truth perhaps behind the work? Um, further pieces you can see here from Carol, Perceptions. And then this piece is called um, Tea with Gran. And I remember her bringing it to a workshop and thought that is wonderful for this exhibition. Then we turn around to Karen Morton, and this is um, her piece called Ominous Bunting. Um, many of the participants in this exhibition belong to the textile group Fibre and Form, and I need to thank them for helping me install this. This has been a fabulous partnership as well. So Ominous Bunting here with lots of these little windows. Moving round, we come to a very small group of unidentified meaningful objects made by a primary school from the home, or nursery children from the Homestead Day Nursery. So here they are, that beautiful little fingers making these unidentified meaningful objects. Then moving across to Karen Crosby, we have Resilience, which is oak leaf and gold, oak leaf, gold leaf and copper wire. Briefly moving to Lisbeth Wurtz's piece, um, and this is a deconstructed UMO. Um, it's called Northern Lights, um, and it's got a lot of eco dyeing, and, and there is something like the North Star here. I'm very pleased to have this one in my collection. And then moving across, another member of Fibre and Form, Sheila Dyson's. And she's put in two pieces for the show, which is Eco Adventures in Lockdown. Um, all these dyed cloths are from what she gathered in Moat Park. And then Eco Adventures in her garden. And she kept a little book or journal for each one of these, recording how she used those dyes. And there's a little tiny photograph, Were We Ever Really There, by Georgette Taylor in the base there. We'll see more of her work in a minute in the exhibition. Then moving along, there's Rosie James, HMS Gannett with runes at Port, Suakin. So that's Rosie James. 
with her beautiful dangling threads, giving a great deal of animation and motion to the work. And then the partner piece, HMS Gannett at Port Suakin. There we go. Oops, sorry, it went out of focus there. Sorry about that, folks. I think my signal's breaking up. Coming in again, there's a singular hand here. Um, and I don't know where the label has gone for this. So apologies for not identifying who had made this because the label has disappeared. Um, but I can tell you the artist who created this piece um, it's a very poignant piece and it's about her battle with illness in the last year. I'm not going to speak any, any more than that, but this is about her battle with, it, with illness. Um, coming into Georgette Taylor's work, and we have um, three. These are photographs with fabric and mixed media. So these are photographs. Sorry if I'm going all over the place. Sometimes I lose the signal and I'm trying to walk slowly and capture everything through the camera. And then on the fringes, like these threads dangling from where the eyes should be. And then this final piece here, petal. And you can just see the face in the background. Moving on, this is a sculptural piece, Mother of a Thousand Children's Plaster by Randa Saab. Beautiful, poignant piece. You feel that sense of contemplation or even sorrow on the face. And finally, moving round. The garden has been my solace, so these are three little framed pieces. Um, so this is Winter Garden, and that is um, Rich Hazel. This one is Winter Garden, Jasmine, made earlier this year. I'll post some images of these up later. All of the works here are for sale, so if anybody is interested and have seen anything they like, contact me and I'll, I'll contact the artist. I, I say all of the work, some of it isn't for sale, but some of it is. <laughs> um, and this one is Winter Garden Crocus. And then finally, um, my garden in the summer, or our garden, because the partner in my garden is, is Derek, um, who survived a stroke two years ago in September, and the garden has been my solace. So there we go. And if we look, there's a few details going up here. Just to remind me that little bits of joy and a lot of exercise to keep me well and fit can be obtained by working in the garden. I'm going to do a quick swing round so you can see the whole of the exhibition again. Um, beautiful space to exhibit and an overhead image of the Umos and then if you want to find out more as I said please visit my website cassholmes.co.uk and you will find that all that information and other links on my website. Thank you for joining us at Unspoken Truth and Silence.